Okay, so, <clears throat> I made my first video, finally, after, you know, a week of playing this game, or so, roughly a week, I don't know. I've been playing it since it came out on Early Access, which I believe was the 18th, so... Wow, time flies. Okay, to me it feels like it's only been a couple of days, so I was guesstimating a week, but whatever. Anyway, so I made my first video, and then I wanted to show these humans. So right there is a spawning stone. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually called a spawning stone. I've just been calling them that. When you die, you spawn at these stones. So there's this stone right here, and these are the humans in Bronner up there. So here's where I'm at. This is where I got the, my healing spells. And Blessed Renewal I got from a guy right here. As soon as you, like, you're coming in from the road, you, there's the stone. And then you see that first group of guys right there. Blessed Renewal came from a boss guy that spawned on the left right above my hat in that corner back there. He, he, he was right there, and he's the one who dropped the stone for this spell. I'm lagging so bad. I don't know how this is gonna work out. But I just wanted to show you that these guys, they can and the adjudicators are the tough ones. They're the hard I think they're the hardest ones here. The rest of these guys are pretty easy. The assessors, you can kill them in like two hits. I wanna see if that's the if that's the guy. Let's get his name. I want his name to show. Ah. Anyways, that was where I got a spell from. Was that dude in that corner back there. But I don't know if he spawns there guaranteed all the time. another one for one of my clan dudes so Let's go ahead and pull him out here He's a boss, so he's pretty tough. But you can kite them quite a ways. You know? Okay, I don't need that. And his arrow, yeah, his arrow hits really freaking hard. Don't get a little, don't get too overzealous. Because if you give him the chance, he hits like a freaking truck. Do we 
eradicate law one was that four yeah one four this right here see how easy I killed him and of course I had to kill him this morning without blessed renewal I killed him this morning with divine remedy you just saw this guy drop this which is blessed renewal so kill that guy get this get blessed renewal there is an easy healing spell for you do that um, the Zebians, you can get your Mesmerize from them. I believe someone down here also drops it. But they definitely drop Divine Remedy because that's the first healing spell I got. Was down here. That's all I wanted to show you for this video. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you're into PAX Day. If I'm hoping you're watching this video because you are into PAX Day. Um... I would like to make more videos on PAX Day, especially as a solo player, because I've basically been playing this solo the whole time. I have two clan members that I've been playing with since yesterday, but they're still very new. They, Their crafting isn't up. They're, they're not... You know, they got a long way to go. They're not where I'm at. So I'm still pretty much playing solo. And, I mean, you're watching it right now, so you know I'm playing solo. I hate it when that shit misses. Sorry. Still. He's a healer too, so... If I'm not mistaken. Anyway. <laughs> Jump the gun. Well, that was just bad. If that power attack would have gotten off, you would have seen it. Would have, you would have seen him die in like two hits. But that's okay. Difficult thing about this. Um, one. Great, he got his healing off, so I gotta contend with that. And his little knife attack does pretty good damage. Here, I think his name was Ferrix. Like, I, I don't remember what his title was, but he was in he was in this building up here, and he dropped. I think he was. I think the boss Ferrix was the one who dropped Divine Remedy, and he was incredibly difficult. I mean, like, if you're gonna even, I recommend getting people to help you with that. Um, if you absolutely cannot get anybody to help you, you're going to struggle very badly. You have to get your stuns timed perfectly, um, and you're going to need all two-handed, like, I mean, you're going to need some powerhouse weapons, and one, if he gets his heal off, because he uses this, um, Blessed Renewal, if he gets that off, you're not going to kill him, because he's going to just, his health regenerates so much so fast. You, you cannot let him get that heal off, so he is very difficult to solo. It was a very, very big pain in the butt. <laughs> These guys are also a pain in the butt. It's Harold's.
purposely not using my uh, tonic potion move, by the way. Just because I want to show you that you, like how easily you can do this. Even though it's still difficult, you can't, it's still, it's both. It's easy and it's difficult. These guys are the biggest pain in the butt. One of them is pretty easy. Two of them, you're about to find out because I'm probably going to get killed. was so tough that, that that fire spell man it shreds your health <clears throat> look if you're paying attention without me using my healing spell you could tell that my health was regenerating, but hardly at all. So without healing spells, healing in this game is so difficult. But there's usually a boss that spawns in there. And if not there, then go through that second door back there. And then in that area back there is where he might also spawn. These goads, man, they do a lot of damage. you saw me solo one boss and I know that if the Ferrix guy is in there I already know what battle that's gonna be and I do not feel like I don't feel like doing that right now that's gonna that's gonna take a long time and a lot of effort and I did not want to do that for this video but he's in there I think he drops the divine remedy I believe but this guy out here for a fact drops this which is this, Blessed Renewal. And then farm the worn out lockets until you have 10 so you can craft it. And you gotta get your crafting up high enough and I recommend getting your crafting up to where that recipe will be green. Because even if it's yellow and it fails, you're gonna be devastated. So I recommend leveling up your crafting. Unless you have a buddy who's capable of crafting it for you. But I just wanted to show you that. So like, subscribe, follow, comment. Thanks. Love ya. Have a good one.